hello guys in this video we will see how to create aws s3 bucket and we will see how to upload the files and folders to s3 bucket okay connect to your aws console then click on services see these are the recently visited services if you are unable to find that s3 click on services then search for s3 click on s3 click on amazon s3 click on create bucket or click on buckets then click on create bucket both options are same see i have already one bucket is there click on create bucket then select the aws region see these are the regions available for me okay so from this list you have to select the region okay i'm going with this us east 2 then provide the bucket name see bucket name must be unique within the global namespace which means this bucket name is global to entire aws cloud provider not for this specific account okay see the bucket naming rules click on it new tab see these are the rules you can go through them and give the names these are the valid bucket name rules you can go through them and provide the name for new bucket i'm giving name as r2 schools bucket one or simply give hyphen s3 storage one it should be meaningful okay then here object ownership acls disabled access control is disabled is the recommended based on your requirement you have to okay if you want to block all public access you have to check this one if you don't want you have to uncheck this one based on, here also based on your requirement you have to bucket versioning if you want to enable versioning you have to see after every modification or every file upload versioning will be there so at present i'm going to disable later you can enable it bucket key enable it click on then additional settings object lock enable disabled okay click on create bucket see bucket is successfully created suppose copy this one try to create with the same bucket it will throw error see here go up see bucket with the name with the same name already exists so we cannot create with the same name so we have created s3 bucket click on it if you want to upload files we have to click on upload then click on add files then select the files if you want to add entire directory select it and click on upload like this okay this is the one way the other is to add files this is graphical way or simply go to the files location suppose if you want to upload these two files drag them to s3 bucket click on it see select these two once we entered here we have to select the storage type we have different storages if you, want, if you click on upload those will be uploaded if you want to add the metadata you have to click on add metadata click on it upload both the files uploaded this is the size okay now go back to this bucket see here we have two files suppose if you want to create a folder click on create folder then store r2 schools underscore csv storage give the name of the folder click on create folder again if you want to upload files in this directory click on our folder click on it then drag the same files here and click on it see two files added select them if you want to provide the properties like storage class one you have to select then click on upload see we have successfully uploaded the files to s3 bucket the last option we want to give the URI or URL for this bucket, you just need to copy this one and paste. This is the path for this files. Okay, first, and this is the root path for that one. But here we have to give remove this directory and give this one. This is the path for S3. Go to the properties, you can edit them also. Okay, again, if you want to delete the bucket, we can delete it by clicking on delete, but it won't be deleted because bucket is not empty click on delete see it is saying bucket is not empty 
So first we have to empty the bucket. Click on empty bucket, then provide the permanent delete. Then you have to type this permanent delete. So it will delete all the files and folders in this S3 bucket, but not the actual bucket. It will okay. Click on empty. See successfully deleted five objects. Now exit, refresh. Now we can delete the bucket. Click on delete, provide the bucket name. Copy the bucket name and paste it. And click on delete bucket. Now you will be able to see we have successfully deleted. See we have only one bucket that is the previously created bucket. So in this video we have seen how to create S3 bucket then how to upload data to S3 bucket. Then we have seen how to delete the S3 bucket which is having the files and folders. For more Amazon and DevOps videos please subscribe my channel. Thank you.